Greetings guys and gals, my name is Fad and welcome back to our Dragon Age Origins melee only playthrough. In the last part we did some uh, side questing and in this part we're probably going to do some side questing as well as well there are many side quests to be quested. But first of all let's talk to Bodan Fedek because... anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Because I have some stuff to sell. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected and with your discount. I sure hope so, Bodan. I sure hope so. Alright, what do we have? Lyrium Potion. Sell it. Yes, both of them. Uh, never need that. Uh, out. I want to keep that because that's, it has such a legendary backstory. I can't, I can't just sell it, you know. <laughs> also, I'm kind of worried that Bodan will then have the curse of the axe. So, uh, going to sell this one, this one. Oathkeeper, gonna keep that. Selling all of the bows, all of the arrows because we will never ever use them. Uh, we can sell these and these and this. Oh. Also this, and this, and this. <laughs> There's so much to sell. Um, what else can we sell? Let me see. The wolf pelts, we don't need them. Let's sell them as well. Engraved silver bowl. Yep. Silk carpet. Sure, why not? Alright then. I think we're done selling, right? No, we can sell the soldier's helm actually. And the proving helm as well, I think. Angled strikers. Yep, can sell those as well. And now that's about it. Alright, so in the end, at the end of the last part, we basically talked to Morrigan, who still looks kind of cool in her armor <laughs> right there, and uh, she taught us, uh, talked to us, and yeah, well, she also taught us something, but she told us, <laughs> is what I actually want to say, that uh, Flemeth, her mother, survived centuries by basically, um, what's the term, uh, by basically taking the bodies of her daughters, and of course, Morrigan, as the youngest of Flemeth's daughter will be taken next unless we will kill Flemeth, which we will probably do uh, later in the playthrough. All right, yes. and I've already hinted at that that um, I think we are going to do that, but I'm not entirely sure. As Flemeth is actually an insanely strong enemy, maybe she's definitely in the top uh, three of the strongest enemy uh, enemies in the game. So. She's right uh, on the side of the Archdemon, of course, so the leader of the um, of the Blight, and uh, of another enemy who I will not spoil for you, but <laughs> he's going to be a surprise. Um, Alright, let's talk to Master Ignacio, because I know we haven't talked to him yet, and another he visitor. seems very nice. eager to talk to us. Enjoy browsing my wares. No, the poor bear. Release the bear, you monster. Who are you? Master Trader Ignacio, at your service, good sir. My cousin and I have trade connections all along the seaways. We have furniture, silks, carvings, and much more. Cesar handles the trade stock, I handle Cesar. other affairs. What affairs are those? Business deals, uh, meetings. Yeah. Cesar makes it so I am free of the day-to-day -day concerns of our store. You are very suspicious, Master Ignacio, if I do say so myself. Um, and I do. No, not yet. Perhaps one day. Okay, farewell. Luck be to you, Warden. <laughs> Very uh, suspicious. Release the bear, you monster. Hey, wait, this bear was black, was darker before, right, when I talked to him? It's a black bear, but that's not a black bear, that's whatever. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dwarven poetry just made us level up. <laughs> That's the most epic poetry I've ever encountered. Wait, now we have to read it. Wait, what <laughs> What actually was that? Um, notes, right? Notes? No, wait, where is it? Uh, books and songs. Dwarven, Dwarven, Dwarven. Oh, come on, where is it? History, history, legend, ballad, adventures, legend of... No, I want to see the... No, I want to see the Dwarven thingy. Damn it. Come on. Give me Dwarven poetry. Alright, so that's only information, right? Wait, maybe it's here. Out. No, 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 no. Damn it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Is it quest related? Probably not, right? Is it? Spawn. No, 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 no. I hear that you can't see... Like the the um, the order in which you pick them up, 
That would that would be way uh, better, or very helpful at least. It has to be with books and songs, right? So why isn't it here? Probably we probably picked it up and it was like uh, well, dwarven poetry, and now it does. It, it's not just called that here. Well, anyway, <laughs> we should move on. Uh, yeah, we leveled up. Um, so strength, cunning. I think we need some cunning, right? If I remember correctly, for something we needed that. I I, don't, I can't remember for what. But death blow. All right, now we have all the warrior skills <laughs> and are indeed an accomplished warrior. Okay. So, I remember that there was a... Wait, no, I wanted to talk to Cesar. Who handles the other affairs of Master Ignacio. Cesar. You're back. You need something? Oh, I already talked to you. Oh, right, you handled, handled business. Oh, yes. Ignacio actually handled the other affairs. Oh, we, we needed something. Wait, we needed some... Oh, we needed something, right? Toxin, the toxin extract? I'm going to buy this. We need th this for a... For a side quest, right? But for which one? Uh, Denarum. Back alley justice. No. Missing in action. No. There was there was one though. But <laughs> that reminds me that yeah, we have another uh, quest from from Sergeant Kylan, who told us to attack the uh, the weird bandit groups inside the city, and they said the back alleys of the city, and that's what we can do now. Killing a few bandits. Always oh, nice. What level are I? Am I now? Message for oh. you, m'lady. Uh, what? Who? <laughs> what? Good. What? More things to deliver. Goodbye. And off he goes. Immediately teleported elsewhere. What's in this letter? What's in this letter? A trial of crows. A delivery boy has given you a cryptic message saying that if you are interested in working with the Antivan crows, that you should head to one of the back rooms of the non Noble Tavern. Interesting. We will keep that in mind. All right, let's go to the to one of the back. Let's go to the dirty back alley. What else do we have here? Oh, I th I, th I thought we can see. What kind of spots these are? Are there bandits everywhere? Really? Uh, <laughs> there's definitely. Some bandits here. Ah! Alright. I wanted to let him talk before I attack. Damn, that's a lot of thugs. Who's that guy? <laughs> What's he doing there? Whatever. <laughs> the combat is always so loud in this game. I mean you you probably don't notice this because I turn it way down in post editing. But the combat is actually like at least three times louder than I talk. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the leader is dead. That's most of the damage already eliminated. Liliana, backstab! I said backstab, come on, man. Backstab him, Liliana, what are you doing? Why doesn't she backstab? Wait, I'm, I'm standing behind him, right? What? No, Melina is dead. Why doesn't, why doesn't Liliana backstab? What? <laughs> why doesn't she? <laughs> this infuriates me. Come on, Liliana. You have one job. To backstab people. What are you doing? What are you even doing? I tell you what you're not doing. Backstabbing people. Wow. He was loud. Alright, you can't backstab him. But I will keep a close eye on you because... Whatever's going on with you, I don't like it. You don't need healing. You know what you need to do? You need to do your job. Oh yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> Some nasty bastards. What's with all of them having the same hairstyle? There we go. Alright. Da 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 da. Melina, get up, come on. Oh, that's right, Alistair needed a, an injury kit, right? Oh, okay, not anymore. Oh, that's right, because you don't have to take an injury kit. Uh, that's that's something in the game, by the way. I learned this extremely late in the game. Like, I mean, again, I, <laughs> I, forget. Right, I learned right. it extremely uh, late in my first playthrough. And apparently I immediately forgot about it, too. Uh, if you go to the campsite, immediately all of your injuries are healed. So, yeah, there's that. Tanya. Tanya, Tanya, where have, have yes. I heard this name? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, I have a letter for you. All right, let me take a look. Why? What did he do to deserve this? 
and then she <laughs> just vanished out of existence. <laughs> A lot of character in, in Dragon Age Origins do that, by the way. Quaint Hovo. Not possible to pick. Liliana. Not possible to pick. <laughs> hmm. Strange. Very strange. Right, what do we have up here? Is there something up here or is this just for show? Hmm. Looking to the right, looking to the left. Nothing to be found already. Let's turn them. Let's return. To somewhere else. I don't even know. Let's let's go to the, to another back alley actually. Mm -hmm. So is there really a fight every time we go to one of these alleys? Why didn't we just go? Whatever. I don't know this stuff. Uh, more thugs, of course. <laughs> oh damn, that's a lot of thugs. You have th <laughs> human thug, human gang leader, human. Ugh, these damn humans. Holy crap, that's a that's a huge ass hammer. What? How can I even swing this, man? <laughs> what? Jesus. <laughs> All right, there we go. Again, Melina taking a lot of damage here. Let's take a health portal. But not, but not two. I think I think wasting two on one of these uh, unimportant <laughs> side mission fights would be a little too much, especially because after huge hammer down is got, after huge hammer guy is down, <sighs> these guys are practically pretty weak. Even though now Alistair and Melina are going low on health, and Alistair's dead. <laughs> My dog alone can tear you apart, so. so don't even... You know what? I'm not going to count on that. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm actually going to count on that. Yeah. Gents, in you I trust. <laughs> even if everything else is lost and everyone dies, Gents, I will entrust you with killing the other few guys. Right. First of all... I bet Melina is now dead. If, if, she, if she just gets one... Ah, I can't... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and then she's done. And I can't reach them because uh, my way is blocked. Come on. I'll do it. I think it's enough. Like if she gets two or three hits in, <laughs> Jens is tearing these guys apart, man. Yes, good boy. Damn, he's so fast. <laughs> and of course, he does massive damage because we only skilled him to do exactly that. Damage. He's a damage boy. <laughs> Not a damaged boy, but a damaged boy. Come on. Get up, all. Gents, save the day. Wait, Liana's still down, right? Liana. There you go. Nope, I bet it was not. Some lesser injury kids. There we go. And let's loot. Let's get to looting. Thug. Thug, 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 thug. Gang leader with his big ass hammer. That's not a euphemism. Health potuses. Some silver. That wouldn't great. There's an injury kit. Nice. Yes. Already getting some things back. Splint man boots. Gonna take those. And we're basically done here. Wait a minute. Who did Korea again? Again with this guy. Our continued friendship is guaranteed. What do you mean our continued friendship? What? Who are you? <laughs> And again, he just vanishes. But not if I vanish first. Ah, okay. And that's the last street we need to go to. What? Did, why didn't she? Do, okay, I'm still very confused about the <laughs> the ways I I go. Like, what? And even more thugs. You, we're oh. about to send the boys to hunt you down. The boys. Boss says kill him. Wow. <laughs> Very. I, I was. I was trying to say. Wow. Even there's there's dialogue now. Maybe I can weasel out of this one. But. Is coming. But no. Yeah. No such luck. <laughs> I have to slaughter them then. And I think for those I, I'm going to need more than one health potus because because that's a lot of guys actually. 
All right. Sorry to interrupt you there, Liliana. But, got it here. There we go. Next one. Gonna get them one by one. There we go. Next one. <laughs> Alistair's already beaten him down. Alright. Next one. So the fact minions basically have no armor, right? I'm not sure if we even needed the health bonus. Probably not. Tens, I'm going to take control of you myself again. Ah! There we go. Alright. There we go. <laughs> Cleave them in twain. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Let's loot some thugs. And the gang leader, of course, again. Probably has some money with him. Oh, money. Okay, health portals. Even better. Even better. Thug. What's, what, do, what do these thugs do with lyrium potions? They don't even need magic. They don't even use it. Why do, why do they have lyrium potions with them? That's so weird. Isn't it? I think it's weird. Maybe I'm weird. There he is again, the hooded courier. <laughs> Who apparently thinks we're some sort of Not friends. Yet. I don't know why, but never, never seen this man in my life. I mean, I've seen him, but not much else. Oh, scale armor and wooden kite. Sir Fryden. It's done. In Sir Fryden's journal, the last request. What do we have here? Find and eradicate the Maleficarum in the alienage. You found a parti partially burned journal on a dead Templar named Sir Fryden. In it, you learn that Fryden defied his superiors by helping an unnamed Templar investigate reports of blood mages in Denerum. His investigation led him to a deserted building in the back alleys of Denrum. Fryden's last entry indicates that he's been spotted and he implores anyone reading his journal to deal with the blood mages hidden in the city. <gasps> There's blood mages in the city. Also, I don't know how you can say that this guy's a Templar. But, whatever. Hooded Curia. Again, how are you doing? With this, you seal your guild success. With what I do my... What, what are you... <laughs> what are you people talking about? <laughs> Still don't know what's up with that the brother. Dirty hovel. Hmm. What's inside here? Hmm. Lason, the deserter. Shady thug. Oricon! VTF. Oh. Okay, you know what? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I won't, I won't talk to him now, but I will talk to him in the next part. Yes, that's right. I'm making a cut here because the last previous, the previous parts were a little bit too long <laughs> for, for my taste and for yours as, uh, probably as well. So yeah, we're going to talk to this deserter guy in the Dirty Hovel in the next part. I hope you'll be there. Until then, have a nice day, have a nice night, and of course, as always, have a nice time.